What's up everyone? This is Gustavo Dantas. Welcome to vlog number seven. Last video we talked about how to get sponsors in BJJ and this week I'm going to share with you one of the key elements that I truly believe sponsors are looking for in a relationship with a sponsored athlete. So if you did not have a chance to watch the previous video, I'm going to leave the link right here and you have a chance to watch it. It's going to give you a really good foundation to connect things better with this video. And as I mentioned in the other video, I'm not trying to convince anyone of anything. This is only my perception about the topic. I'm pretty sure you have yours. It doesn't mean that mine is right or wrong. So whatever you feel that is applicable to you, use it. And whatever you don't, just put to the side. So if you are interested in growing, evolving, not only as a jiu-jitsu athlete, but as a human being, this video is for you. So the last video, we talked about how to get sponsors in BJJ. And I mentioned what are the two key elements that you should take consideration anytime you're asking someone for a sponsorship. And we talk about asking with intelligence and asking with faith. Anytime you ask with intelligence, you come in with a sponsorship proposal. And I mentioned five things to take in consideration that you could include in your proposal. The number one was pretty simple. Who are you? Amazingly, a lot of people don't actually do that. But tell a little bit about yourself, not the story of your life. Number two, what is BJJ? If you are approaching a non-jiu-jitsu company, absolutely, you need to give more information about the competition scene, IBJJF, and so forth. Anything to give some light to the person. Number three, why? Why you do what you do? Share this with a sponsor that you're going after, you're asking for the support, so they understand where you're coming from. They'll be like, what, what am I supporting? So very important to be open with them about that. Number four, what can you do for them? Extremely important and that's when you, because some people can say like, yeah, just put the patch and I'll give a shout out on Facebook. You really need to be creative, brainstorming and come up with good ideas. You need to remember you are a personal brand and if you wanna monetize this personal brand, you're gonna to have to take care of your social media. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever that is. Try to think about what can you do maybe different than other people. And then we have the number five super important is asking with faith. Faith that you deserve what you're asking for and you can get what you're asking for. And you need to be specific. This is what I'm looking for. If they say, no, we can't do that, the backup plan maybe have different layers, but this is what you're gonna present and ask with faith. I suggest also for you to start building your portfolio. Nowadays, it's a lot easier with online, but this is what I, I start building when, when I was my prime time competing in, a, in the 90s, going after sponsors, I start adding anything that I mentioned my, had my name, you know? Sometimes, I mean, I, I didn't get a lot of exposure all the time, so you see my name, like, ooh, right there and I'll add something because little by little, this is gonna help you just give you leverage and credibility that, hey, it's not just talking, there's some stuff here. Not necessarily need to have a portfolio like that, but maybe you can make a PDF file that it can send to someone. So now that you have this understanding of the sponsorship proposal and if you wanna add the portfolio, I think it's really good. Let me share, what do I think sponsors are looking for one of the key things that sponsors are looking for in a relationship. And the word is reciprocity. The law of reciprocity states give and take mutually. Imagine you are sponsoring someone and you're constantly like, man, doing whatever you can for your athlete, you know, and this guy's right here, like sometimes put the patches, sometimes mention, sometimes just kind of like, and eh, kind of there, but you're still taking at one point, there's a good chance of this going like this. There's a good chance of this happening. So you're gonna have to put yourself in the, the sponsor should be like, how can I give back to them? And that's how I want you to do a list of things that which was from the number four, what can you do for them? Think about your social media. Of course, every business is gonna be unique. You're gonna have different approaches from a jiu-jitsu company to non-jiu-jitsu company. What can you do? Nowadays, we have 
YouTube channels that maybe you can try to get interviews or podcasts or write articles, have your own website, find ways to provide value to your sponsor. One of the things that I mentioned at the last video that I, I had one of my sponsors was a drugstore called City Pharma. It started from asking, from asking from a delivery boy to all the way to get to a point I'm, I'm the corporate office and I'm closing a deal with a monthly salary as a brown belt. Doesn't happen that often, but it happened because I asked and you should ask too. As soon as I closed this deal, my brother told me, let's do this. As soon as they give you the patch and the, the hat, let's write an article about you and offer it to a CD paper. Like for example, I live in Tempe, Arizona. It would be basically related to a, a newspaper in Tempe. Some people may say like, who cares about a Tempe newspaper? As the entrepreneur Gary Vee say, one is better than zero. You can have nothing or you can have a small, something that can, when you put in your portfolio, they're gonna start building you leverage and give you credibility that when you're asking for stuff like, hey, I'm giving something back. So, because he mentioned a lot of those small papers at the end of the, the month, they're looking for articles, maybe they need one or two more pages, so if you do give them the article with a picture and they like, they will feature. So cool, so he wrote and talked about me growing uh, growing at the neighborhood and born and raised and teaching, going to the world championship, sponsored by, and then it put the name of the sponsors. And we, we present, so then we start asking. And then suddenly someone told him, I, I know someone that works there. And then we presented this to them. And they love it. And they love it. They said, uh, "We're gonna do it." And this came out. I was using the City Pharma patch with the City Pharma hat right here, and then the small description. Did I get clients for them for this? I don't know. But the following month, they framed and put in the office because when people come in for meetings, they look around like, "Oh, wow, we sponsor an athlete. That's awesome. All oh, heels featured." It doesn't matter. It gives you that credibility. So we need to brainstorm like ideas who can I reach to get some exposure to your personal brand to you you want to monetize that you're gonna to have to really go out of your way and make things happen you're gonna to have to because as I was going because they give me a monthly salary I'm not giving back that much there's so much that I can do to a drugstore that is like nationwide I mean so I was doing the best I could so they knew that I was always trying when the opportunity came to come to the United States for the first time and compete in a tournament, I had no money. They were my biggest supporter to actually make to this trip. And eventually I, I competed and months later, I ended up moving to the United States all because I asked a delivery boy, I insisted about getting the information about maybe possibly getting sponsored and I'm here today is because I was using the the law of reciprocity and you can use the law as well and not only as you know for sponsorship but man we all need for all areas of our lives maybe there's a situation that you were giving a lot of support to someone and someone just wasn't there you know and suddenly you're like you know what just both parts just went away that happens in personal and professional all the time Sometimes the other way around, someone is giving a lot and you're just not doing enough. We're busy, now it's, just, it's a fast world. I'm an entrepreneur, I'm all over the place. And sometimes I will forget things the same way you will. And you need to be more aware, maybe it's a situation that went like, so all we, you can say is forgive yourself, be compassionate to yourself, be like, I did the best I could with the maturity level, emotional maturity level that I had at that point, but now I'm here. Can I restore maybe this relationship? No, it's too late. What can I do to maybe prevent this to happen the next time? Maybe start working, being a little more aware and start being more aware of the law of reciprocity. It's something that I need to do every day and reflect a little bit and I'm far from being, <laughs> from being perfect and I believe so are you the same way, but as long as we're always trying to become the best version of ourselves, always trying a little more, that counts a lot. So I hope, I hope the law of reciprocity made an impact on you and help you in a 
sponsorship journey, but mainly in your personal and professional life. So if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, tag someone that could benefit from this information. If you'd like to know more about myself, please visit